Check, 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 one, two. Um, so you turn the trims down to about quarter? I, I did or, just uh, there, but, third. but we can go through that and okay. see when it's, a good, when it's a good level. So here, I'll, I'll bring this mic over here so I can film what you're doing. Check, one, two. Check, 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 one, two. Check, 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 one, two. So just for, for starting, check. I'm going to turn off the gate and off the compressor just until we set our initial level. Right. So I'm going to look at the, the level here coming in. Check. We can always go check. back to our homepage, too, and look at our meter. And, you know, I think I'd, ideally we would have our, our signal meter coming in maybe at about 75%, so, you know, at our, at our loudest peaks, right around the zero mark. Check, 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 one, then two. Then we have a little bit of headroom to, to go up. Uh, before it starts clipping, and the signal's not so low where we're having to crank our faders uh, to get extra level, which may increase the noise as well. So right. I'm slowly bringing check, it up check, until check, one, two. Check, 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 one, two. See, we get a little bit more loud, then it's going to go up in the yellow. So right where it, the signal turns from green to yellow is kind of our sweet spot. Okay. Uh, All right. So one, two, check, check, check. I mean, that's probably going to get us pretty dang close. You have, have, you know, you have some extra headroom, too, that you can always turn up the, the, faders. the fader. You can also yeah. turn up the main. Check, channel. check, check. One, two. What if we turn um, this guy up, like, a little bit more? Where, where are we going to find feedback in that? Check, one, two. Check, one, two. Check. I mean, it's, that's loud. I don't think I'd ever want, I'd never even want to be that loud. Right. And there's <laughs> and no feedback. The, Maybe the uh, better way is to keep it down here where we ha set our initial gain stage. And then just turn, turn up, up the, the level here. Right. Um, Check. Yep. So you turn up the gain and then yep. you're talking loud into it, you risk the chance of flipping yep. the channel, which yep. causes distortion. That's, that's, that's unbelievable, that um, feedback programs. And that's yeah. basically just on the mains right now. Or, I mean, you haven't even really dialed in the the vocal too much. Correct. Yep. It's just, just being applied to the main. So you have the feedback filter on all the outputs. So yeah. You know, you go to uh, the AUGS one output and you have another one there as well. So Okay, so you can you can run multiple, uh, multiple instances. speakers if you wanted to and just run that same pro mix or the feedback wizard. <clears throat> exactly. Yeah. And now if you need to change the tone or even reduce feedback even more you can um, you know, select the main master, and now you have a graphic EQ and a parametric EQ, uh, but you also have that on every input channel as well. So you have EQ, compressor, gate, um, and if you're having issues with feedback, you can always check your compressor settings too, because a compressor is a super great tool, but if it's set a little bit improperly or, all, or your settings might not be tuned quite right, it can actually cause more issues than, than helping. So can you can you show us how a, what a good uh, setting would be for a vocal? Sure. For, um, for a compressor. So when I'm when I'm dialing dialing in a compressor, when I'm mixing vocal as in, in a front of house perspective, so I'm mixing the show, I would dial it in differently than I would dial it in for a floor monitor, uh, for a musician on stage or in a rehearsal room. Um, because when I'm out in the front of house, you know, creating the mix in the room, I'm wanting to um, dial in my dynamics on the vocal, so there's not a tons of really crazy peaks that really stick out, so I can smooth the overall tone. But if I'm compressing the vocal in the monitor for the musicians, a little bit can be okay. But if you do that a little bit too much, then you can really kind of mess with the musician and, and their and their voice because they're having to sing much louder and more aggressively just to hear themselves the same amount because they sing louder and it's getting quieter in the monitor. So you have to be a little bit careful there. Uh, Good so point. I would almost recommend starting without compression in the floor monitors. Okay. But if I was going to dial this in for a typical vocal, maybe at um, coming through the main PA system, um, let's see, maybe I'll bring the ratio up to start maybe around four to one or so. And then um, I would, you know, oops, slowly bring down the threshold until you're starting to see some 
Check uh, one, two. Turn the compressor on here. Check, check, check. One, two. It's, it's comparing the input signal versus the output signal, and the GR here stands for gain reduction. Check, so check, check. The more check, I bring one, this threshold down, you can start check, to see check, some, check. some red metering there, so that's the gain that it's reducing or attenuating. Ooh. Check, 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 check. Ooh. And you also have output gain. So if you're compressing the signal greatly, it's attenuating the overall volume. So you can raise that back up to its initial state so the incoming level is similar to the output level, so your gain staging throughout the system is similar. So you can add gain here. But be careful there, if you add too much gain, you could um, create some feedback potential as well. You also have attack and release levels, so that's going to be different whether it's a voice or a, a kick drum or uh, a bass guitar. Typical place I like to start, maybe, uh, maybe 10 milliseconds to 15 milliseconds on vocals, release time, uh, maybe around 80 or, or 100 or so. That's a good place to start, and you can always go in, in and out from there. Check, check, check. One, two. Check, check, check. Yeah, I mean, it sounds, it sounds great. I mean, it sounds perfect for, for a room like this. Check. There's also a built-in de if you're hearing a lot of the sibilant Psst. sounds, yeah. which I'm not hearing a ton of right now, or no. an over amount, but if you are getting a lot of that with a specific microphone, you can always turn that on and increase, increase that level. Um, check, 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 level check, 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 check. As well. So it's kind of acting as a, um, a, a compressor only for that sibilant band. So right. So that, you know, five to eight kilohertz zone, it's kind of uh, squashing that, uh, that frequency spectrum. Nice. So let's um let's show how you can access the um speakers through that system